welcome back to Brooke's Book Weekend. My name is Brooke and today we have got an unboxing. So today we are unboxing the August Fairy Loot. So let's get right in. If you don't know, Fairy Loot is a YA fantasy subscription box that you get once a month. It's UK based, so let's just open it up. Oh. I'm actually really excited for this month's box because of the theme. Wait for it. The theme is mutinous pirates and I love pirates. Look at that, it's beautiful. So let's get into the items. This is the spoiler card. I am not gonna look at it right now because I don't wanna be spoiled, but I'm just gonna put this to the side. First thing is this I see, so I'm gonna open it up, see what it is. Right, okay. So Fairly announced that they had a typo in this month's box and it is on this item. This is a Nikolai from the Grishaverse item. It says, when people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. They've put two S's in usually, so they're sending us out all new ones. This is really cute. I might take it and stick it up in my dorm room at uni because I love Nikolai and this is just really cool and cute. And it's just really plain, so that's really nice as well, so it's not like in your face, you know? Next we have this little cute little canvas fairy loot bag, which is adorable. And inside it, I mean, fairy loot's packaging is always so cute, like, I want to keep this. <laughs> inside it is this water bottle. This is pretty cute. So this is just a little water bottle and it says, why is the rum always gone? I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is a quote from Pirates of the Caribbean, a film I love. Um, despite its casting. So yeah, it's just a cute little water bottle, which is very handy. I will definitely be taking that to uni with me. Why is the rum always gone? Why is the rum always gone? Oh. That's why. That's cool. And this little bag is so cute. You can put like pencils in it, makeup brushes. Um, you can put it to carry your water bottle around, like, anything. Anything. It's, it's, it can be used for multiple different things. Next we have this candle inspired by To Kill a Kingdom, which is a book I have loved this year. Um, I love Pirates and Memories, as you already know. Um, that whole thing is right up my alley. And this is just an alien, a Prince of Midas, or Midas, um, candle, and it smells of sea mist and musk. Also, I love this um, label, she's got a picture of him on it. Let's just open this up. <gasps> it's glittery. Look at that. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's glittery. Amazing. Let's just give it a sniff. Mmm. That smells like... Mmm. That smells like a pirate. Or at least like... Autumn-y. I'd, I'd say it's a really autumn scent, but it's really nice. Yeah. I love that. I love getting candles in subscription boxes because I love candles but I never seem to buy them. So when I get them in subscription boxes it really helps me out so then I can help build my collection. Next we have this which is a really interesting item. Um, I have actually had one of these before from Harry Potter and this is a wax seal. This one's a pirate wax seal. Um, so let me just open up and I'll show you what that's all about. So you know like on these old fashioned letters or like the Hogwarts letters, um, there's those little like, wax seals that you just do to close the envelope. That is what a wax seal is basically, I'm sure you will know that. I am sorry to like judge your intelligence. But yeah, um, so it does have this little like pirate symbol on it and it comes with a stick of wax and then you just melt the wax onto the paper and then you just stamp it and it looks really cool. Next we have Sweet Peach Botanical Magic. So this is these rebel waves. Um, inspired, I read this book at the beginning of this month because I got an ARC copy of it from Harper360 and I loved it so much, so that's what I know this is inspired by. And this is from Geeky Clean and it is a cherry blossom sugar scrub soap, which is exciting. I love sugar scrubs. Um, let's just smell it. Ooh. Yeah, sounds good. Was it? Cherry blossom. Yeah. That smells like cherry blossom and what? assume sweet peat smells like and I love geeky clean um body scrubs I have the fairy cake one and although the scent is quite sickly um I like it and it's quite a good I like the formula so very nice I like that a lot 
Next we have this little magnet from Daughter of the Pirate King, which is a book I haven't read yet, but I have got it on my TBR, it's right up there, I can see it, um, and I want to read it really soon, so maybe I'll read it up, I'm actually in a, I might read it next actually, hmm. I'm in a bit of reading slump, so I'm looking for a book to pull me out of it, and maybe I just need pirates in my life, because I love them. Um, anyway, so this is a little magnet that says, Oh, the ridiculous things one has to do when one is a pirate. And it just looks like that. I know it's a bit shimmery and you can't really see it very well, but it's just got like this treasure chest on the back and it's underwater, I think. So yeah, that's quite cute. Then we have this um, item which I'm very excited about, if I'm honest with you, this King of Scars sampler. And this is exclusive to Fairly, this specific sampler is. Um, Nikolai is one of my favourite characters. I still haven't finished the Grush of Us, but Nikolai is one of my favourite characters, and I can't wait to have King of Scars out. I'm so in love right now. <laughs> and so she's really seen a book about Nikolai from the Grush of Us. Lee Bodigo is, by the way. I'm not explaining myself very well. Lee Bodigo wrote the Grush of Us, who has a character called Nikolai, who's a pirate, and I love him. And she's releasing a book, maybe a series, not entirely sure, based around him. Very excited. Um, but yeah, so this is the poster that is on the other side of the chapter sampler that says Privateer, Soldier, Bastard, Survivor, Wall Up, Monster. And this is beautiful. I'm gonna find a place to put on my wall, and it's just amazing. I love it. Next is this promotional item, which is just about the new uh, books that they've got for these classics, like uh, Harper. So they've just got like Peter Pan, Beauty and the Beast, Jungle Book, Little Mermaid and The Secret Garden in these covers which are actually really nice. I know The Secret Garden is the most recent one I think, um, which is why it's on here. But I kind of want the uh, Little Mermaid and the Peter Pan one to be honest with you. I might have a look and see how much they are. I'm on a book buying ban though so... Where's that on my Christmas? Mine's I don't want to at my Christmas list. We shall see. And then finally, we have the book of the month. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And if it is that, I'm very excited to have it. But let's just open up and see. Is it what I think it is? Is it what I think it is? Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, that makes me very happy because I don't have a finished copy of this yet. Right, so. The book of this month is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rash. As you know, I have read this book already. I got it as an ARC from Harper360. I don't know why, but the cover looks so much nicer like this compared to my ARC copy. Although it's literally the same thing. Look, they're the same, but for some reason this one looks nicer. I think it's because it's matte. I think it's because it's matte. So yeah, so this is a hardcover copy of These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rash. It has exclusive green sprayed edges that are exclusive to Fairy Loot and it just looks beautiful and gorgeous and amazing. Um, I love this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I'm very excited to have a finished copy of it. Let's just all the writing screen as well. That's pretty. <gasps> it has a map. Oh yeah, and it's signed by the author. That's really exciting. It's actually signed by Sarah Ash. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. Oh my god, and the pages. That's so pretty. So we have a map of Grace Laurie here. Which I think I would have loved to have while well, reading this actually. But oh my god, the map is gorgeous. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And then the pages that have the um, like little different um, magic plants and stuff. So, him like, that's beautiful. Oh my god, it actually has like different ones for each plant. Oh my god, okay. This is just a beautiful book. Like, both the like physical form and the story is just amazing. I recommend they pick it up. I am so excited to have this copy in my hands with it signed and the finished um pages and sprayed edges and just the map and the like flower pages. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. I don't think I've ever found gold ever book this much in a long time. So I'm very excited to have this. And then as always with Fairly we have our bookmark of the month which just goes with the spoiler card uh my buddy number so if you are hashtag my buddy 003312 let me know down below and maybe i could reread this book and we could buddy read it together next we have the letter from the author here and then on the back of the um author letter it has a cat picture drawing of the two main characters um i love both of the characters here vex and luna so this is definitely going up on my wall over here somewhere um 
I just love this drawing actually. I think they did Vex really well. Next we have the Fairy Scoop. So it just has um interview with the author. And then what to read next? Down here, based on this book. And then next month is Star Crossed Swoons. And then we have this little postcard it seems that they don't normally have, and it just has two of the plants on it. So we have Hemolite and a little picture of it and then Rodafume. And then a little picture of that, that's really cool. Um I really love it. I really appreciate that. I'm probably gonna stick Hemolite on to my wall. Might be a water few. Hmm, we shall see. But yeah, so that was the August Fairy Loot unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a big thumbs up, I will leave all the Fairy Loot links down below so you can go check them out and maybe buy yourself a subscription. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's today, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.